<coughs> hello guys uh, if you are using mysql workbench for the first time then uh, you may have encountered the problem like uh, connecting like uh, ssd net for user root at red localhost so uh, this uh, problem arises not in my s not during the uh, mysql workbench but connecting to the internal mysql server so uh, what you need to do is ensure that uh, uh, check mysql is running on the server localhost check that uh, this all uh, con criteria or condition should be fulfilled or should be solved so uh, first make sure that you have uh, you have installed mysql server git install mysql server uh, this is for Debian package. Uh, uh, in Kali Linux, by default, MariaDB server is installed uh, in default. So, uh, I have MySQL server installed. So, if you have uh, different uh, distro, if you are using different Linux distro, then you can uh, use a MySQL servers, different MySQL server. So, mm, so this problem encounters because uh, so the reason is that the the reason for this problem is uh, during the recent installation first installation of the mysql server or mysql workbench mysql is using the default unix or out socket plugin so you need to this you need to change this plugin to uh, a mysql native plugin there are two is there are two rules or two solution for this problem first set root user uh, to mysql native password you need to change plugin to this or uh, add new user with add new database users with their system username so this is the recommended way for solving the right problem so i uh, i'll be showing these two method first uh, set root users to native sql password uh, so sudo my i am entering to my username is root root and i for the first time i have uh, password as well so password so this is the database i am entering in the database console so use use my sql uh, so to view the users table just copy and paste this query so you can see that as there are different i have different root root host is localhost and plugins authentication and the, the problem arises because you have a out socket plugin uh, by default so you have to change this out socket plugin to my sql native password so to do to do so just update the just update your username plugin mysql native password make sure that your plugin name is mysql native password so to view the table as you can see that authentication socket has been changed to mysql native password so uh, f you need to so after doing this you need to uh, flush the privileges uh, so exist and you need to restart your mysql server service my sql restart so uh, after doing this uh, uh, and entering the password you have entered you can successfully you can successfully connect uh, this is showing warning so let's ignore this continue so uh, your new mysql server is uh, being connected so here you can create new schema new tables uh, insert columns insert columns and uh, even you can uh, insert the data in the rows and so on so uh, this is the first solution to the problem so the second recommended solution is to create a new username to create the new database user user system user so uh, f first you need to sudo let's clear it sudo uh, my sql u root 
password it's... oh i entered the wrong password so uh, so use my sql so we are in the my sql so you need to create new username so create the new username so example let's the username be so the new username be nepal yeah, nepal identified by i think i have missed something here so identified by colon terminate so query zero is affected database has been changed uh, so grant all privilege so we we are granting all privilege permission to our user granting all privilege uh, to our system user so our system user is what we have assigned uh, nepal yeah, nepal so update so we need to update our plugins by default uh, authentication socket plugins will be installed uh, so you we need to update username database username nepal so you need to update uh, plugins to authentication socket make sure that um, the authentication socket uh, might be uh, like unique sockets in some linux distro as well so zero rows and empties so we need to flush the privileges and finally exist and you need to finally exist and you need to restart your mysql service so service mysql restart so you have restarted so now uh, now to be considered this uh, second step is the recommended way but to be considered is that uh, remember that if you use second option you will have to connect to mysql as your systems user mysql dash u user system name example we have created to view the uh, users what we, you need to do is uh, select users host plugin from mysql uh, we are out of the so you need to Mm. mysql password simon we need to enter to the database then use mysql and then select select users host plugin from mysql.user table so we have created new username table with local list in but uh, an authentication socket authentication socket So, what you need to do is, uh, this, so you have created new username with localhost and plugins authentication socket. Now, uh, you uh, to be considered that you can use that username to access any your system username to access any MySQL server. So, uh, I am in my MySQL workbench and created new test one connection set up new connection TCP port host name local host and root uh, nepal nepal so test connection fail authentication is not loaded plugin authentication is not loaded so we need to change that uh, authentication um, we need to change this authentic authentication socket to mysql native password as in step one then you can successfully uh, login let's do it so what you need to do what you need to change is uh, update where i am right now is yes, i'm inside sql so you need to my sql no you need to update set username oh, no, 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 no. update users just copy it and you need to change nepal nepal username to mysql native password so change the username root to uh, nepal so to view select so nepal um, plugin has been successful change the mysql native password 
so let's go here nepal store check connection no password assign test connection uh, plugin authentication is not we need to restart uh, this service so we need to restart where is the bloody code service my sequel restart we need to exist we need to exist it from here first sorry guys exist mm. service my sql that restart so open connection local authentication socket is not loaded and this problem is arising authentication socket is not loaded so this basically means that you have to assign password to this nepal username and then uh, thus this problem will be solved because of the plugin authentication uh, has not been has not been assigned any password so you need to assign password to it so uh, there are there is bunch of tutorials you can found find over here to set the password to mysql server uh, mysql server so uh, let's uh, ignore this uh, second um, solution then uh, just if you use the first solution to the problem then basically it may be solved so continue anyway so uh, your uh, mysql work bins uh, mysql software has been successfully loaded then you can uh, create new uh, schemas uh, tables uh, bookmarks columns and uh, you can you can uh, uh, add data to these columns then successfully use this uh, database to your uh, uh, you can connect using database you can connect using jdbc driver uh, make sure that uh, i am using mysql uh, server so be sure to download mysql connector java dot binge or dot file file from the uh, mysql http this uh, connector dot j uh, URL so make sure to download this and paste in our libraries directories uh, then you can successfully uh, get connection JDBC MySQL localhost you can get this from uh, right clicking over here and copying JDBC string and just paste it over here like this just paste it over here string over here then you can this is uh, basically jdbc string path then this is a root is the username and s is for simon so just run this and you can successfully uh, running the method my whole database connected to database successfully so our database is connected successfully so you can use this method so hope this will be helpful if you are, if you have any comment leave down the below thank you guys